Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a squash casserole. It's going to have squash, onions, eggs, mozzarella, shredded cheddar, parmesan for cheese also, and then uh, saltine crackers, bacon, butter, and some sour cream. Now, because we're using saltine crackers, we're probably not going to put very much uh, salt in this because they're going to be pretty up. They're called saltines, or they used to be. I don't know what they're called anymore. They are still called saltine crackers. Still good. Some people make them out of Ritz crackers. That's fine. You can make them out of panko. You can make them out of anything you want. Some people add more spices. Oh, I am going to put a little bit of garlic powder in here. I don't have that listed, but that's going to be in there also. Some people cut these up in larger pieces, but I like them small, even for a casserole. And they have so much water in them, just like onions. One of the goals is to get these down. We're going to cook these down, and if we have any juice left over, we're going to dump it out. Because we don't want a watery casserole. All right, that is enough squash. We're going to cook these down, not all the way, but enough to get the juice out of them. We want all the moisture out. All right. So we're going to cook our onions first. And again, we're not going to put salt because of all the salt we have. And we want this uh, medium low. We're going to end up putting a lot of butter in this, honestly. So we're going to use, it's going to take a stick of butter to make this dish. Which whatever, how much that is, that's how much it is. Now, I'm not going to put any salt because of the saltines, but I am going to put pepper. And at the end, if it's not salty enough, you can salt it at the table. That's probably better anyhow. Now we're not going to caramelize these. We're just going to get them sweated down and the moisture out. And the goal is to cook all the moisture out of it, not to, not to have to pour off anything. Because potentially anytime you pour off, you're pouring off flavor. Some more butter in. Squash. Again, I'm going to put pepper, but no salt. And I might put a little oil in here. And some people cut these in half. I'm going to leave them just like they are because they're going to cook until they're very soft, so they'll easily break. So I'm going to leave them just like they are. So we're not going to cook this all the way. This is going to go on top. And that, believe it or not, is all we want to cook the bacon. Just enough to get it started. The last thing that we have to prep is the salt and crackers. We're going to use about a sleeve and a half. All right, so that's one. 
and that's good. Add the onions. And we're going to put about half the bag of the crackers in there. We really want this to cool down because we're going to put two eggs in it and we don't want to scramble the eggs in here. And we're going to put about a cup in. About a cup of mozzarella and we're gonna put a little bit of parmesan in this not a cup and it's cooling down now it won't cook the eggs and it's not hot to the touch okay now it's time to get a couple of eggs Fork. We want to put about a cup of sour cream in it. That's about right. A little bit. That's plenty. Eh, if you're going to do it. All right. Garlic powder. This is a mess. This is therapeutic right here. Perfect. Do it. Do it, Felicity. All right. And the only thing we got to cut up and put in here is the parsley. Oh, that's perfect. You're doing a perfect job. Absolutely perfect. That's it. You got it. All right, we're going to put all that in now. Update my title. Thank you very much. That's it. We're going to cook this 30 to 35 minutes. We've got a well greased pan. And the only other thing I got to do is cut the bacon into smaller pieces. You know, casserole comes from the French word casse. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But cast just means saucepan. That's all it means. And it means a saucepan, specifically a deep, large, deep dish intended to go into the oven. And that's where casserole comes from. And the first known casserole from hundreds of years ago is a macaroni casserole butter infused saltine crackers on here. Put this any way you like. I think it'd be too much cooking to not cook the bacon a little bit before you put it on here. Because it's not that hot a temperature. In the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, this was in the oven 35 minutes, baking at 350. I put the broiler on for about two minutes afterwards to cook the bacon. If I did this again, I would cook the bacon a little bit longer uh, because it, 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 now this will be fine, I think. But I'd like the bacon just a little bit more, a little, little more cooked. All right, so let's see how this does. Hey. Here we go. Look at the bottom. Come in on this, Felicity. Look at the level of moisture. Zero. Zero juice in the bottom. That's exactly the way that's supposed to be. Oh. It's got enough salt. The saltines, I, never, I didn't put any salt in it. You can taste the onions, you can taste the squash, and if you grab that piece of bacon, you can taste the bacon. No moisture, creamy, it's great. I'm very happy with it. Oh.
I love casserole dishes. They're so good. They're always so good. What do you think, Felicity? Cheesy. All right. It's very good. And Dang. you know what? You can taste the squash. The squash is the mm -hmm. star of the dish. Yeah, I can is it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for coming to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Appreciate it if you like and subscribe. I will see you next time. <laughs>